what I wanted to show you is the index we're going to talk about what we're going to cover and the first things is we're going to cover the objectives so we're going to see what is the idea of this course and how we're going to get through those objectives then a little introduction on what is Aspen Plus technical stuff such as versions and how to open things and Aspen, the interaction and so on then we start using the user interface how to interact with the software and eventually how to get help because many times you will see that this is well kind of difficult especially when you are simulating different processes or complex processes you need to get help for the simulation for tips for all the mathematics that is behind the algorithms and so on eventually we go to the physical properties environment which is which covers the setting of our let's say universe which is essentially just the thermodynamic values and some calculations that we are going to be using and of course the chemicals or components we will be using then we go to the introduction of the flow sheet which is the simulation environment is once we set our universe we need to set up our process which is here it will be how to add streams, how to add units, how to interact with the units and so on. When I speak about units, I'm actually talking about unit operations. Unit operations are or can be modeled with plenty of, let's say, models, which we have in Aspen. Many unit operations may seem not to appear here, but actually you can model them with any of the models depending on what type of output or input you want to get in the simulation. And eventually we will see a little bit more on how to report results, how to show them in the software easily, how to read them. And then we go to the case studies. So essentially we this part is for learn and this is for practice. So this is the theory part and this is the practice part. We're going to put into practice all these uh, previous theory so we have three cases and we will practice a lot on those finally I show you a case number four which is a workshop for you you are going to do it by yourself and eventually compare the results with mine then we gave we just give a conclusion and we're done with the basic course 